everybody. Welcome back to Display TV. I don't know if you noticed, there's joy in my voice. No, there's always joy in my voice, but like there's an extra pep in my step. And that is because it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm giving away money. I'm here with all of you. And if we haven't met before, let me introduce myself. My name is Sarah Priebus. I'm coming to you live from Display Studios in New York City. So now tell me, who are you? Where are you coming to me live from? I, I mean, I hope you're live. Maybe you're just waking up. Maybe you've been awake all day and it's nighttime and you're finally setting in. In which case, wake up. We got trivia coming up in a little bit. You gotta get your brain juices flowing. I, I know, I know. You got 30 minutes here before we start where you can kind of sit back, relax, enjoy the show, but then you gotta get everything into gear. We gotta win some money, honey. It's almost time for the weekend and you know what would make that better? $500. $500 makes everything better. I don't care what they say. Do you agree with me? Would $500 make things better? Maybe it wouldn't make everything better, but it would make a lot better, right? I could buy myself that steak that I'm looking forward to tonight, or a new pair of shoes, or take myself on a little beach day. Lots that we could do with that money. How's everybody feeling today? Chad says, I would like $500, please. Who else? Whispering Serenity says, yes, absolutely. Nikki D from Brooklyn, good to see you. Hello, Dark Angel. Hello, Super User. Hello, Cali Puppy. Everybody is here and hanging out. Gummy Nuggets, I'm super fabulous. You're super fabulous. Thank you. I love the love that we have on this app. It makes me so happy. This truly is like the most supportive community around, right? I, lo I love everyone's positivity, infectious energy. It just makes me so, so happy. Okay, I, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing you gummy nuggets. I'm seeing you asking about the new trivia format. So let's talk about it. I'd love to hear from all of you. Who's been tuning in this week? Who's been playing trivia with us? It is moving quickly, isn't it? We updated trivia this week. Thanks to those of you who tuned in on Friday last week to help us test some stuff. And now you've got a pretty solid, a pretty snappy 10 seconds, right? You've got this music that's gonna cue you as to when you need to tap in those answers by. But what it does do, aside from makes you stress a little bit more because you gotta answer faster, is it eliminates the cheaters. We wanted to get all the people who were Googling and cheating and tapping answers after, you know, it, we wanted them out. We wanted the fair winners to be winning and taking home that money. And so now, yes, maybe you got to think a little bit faster. You got to tap an answer before you're sure that it's the right one. But ultimately, it will pay off because there will be less winners and that means more money per winner. So how are we feeling about it? Are we liking it? Does it feel faster? Ultimately, are we excited that it means the right people are taking home the money? Yes? Okay. Milky Fruits, yes, as you'll notice, the questions are getting a bit shorter to help you read and select shorter, so we're definitely taking all of those things into consideration. And Whispering Sarni says, 10 seconds, all good. Gummy Nugget says, bigger prizes is really the main plus. Nikki D says, can't wait. Love it, SJDP says, I'm still getting used to it. It's gonna take a little time. It, it does take a little bit of time to getting used to, as change does, right? Um, who else? Uh, the consistency. We appreciate the consistency. I love that feedback. Uh, Callie Puppy says, been with you since the other trivia game. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Yes, a wonderful, wonderful thank you all for being here. Ha! Ah, I should take a breath, right? That was like a giant run on sentence. I'm going to take a breath. Oh, we'll do that together and we'll say happy Friday. Happy Friday. We made it. Again, some of you, it's probably in the morning, maybe it's the afternoon, maybe it's the evening, but we're all on Friday. And for that, I wanna know, how are you celebrating? How are you celebrating your Friday, right? Are you going out? Are you going home? Or are you going to sleep? Which one is the best choice for you in terms of how you're gonna celebrate Friday? Well, I can't do quite any of that yet, I'm going to, since I guess that's the format of our question, right? I'm going to give out $500. I'm going to tell you all how to earn some money on display. I am going to show off some of your original content. I'm going to give away a trivia answer. And then maybe later, yes, I will probably go home and go to sleep. 
Um, actually, I think I'm seeing a show tonight. How exciting is that? I'm gonna go see a show, a, a musical, actually. Ooh, maybe I'll post about it on display. That's how I'm celebrating my Friday. Um, but I already, I can't wait. I'm envisioning my covers, my bed crawling under it. And it looks like, okay, we're a pretty even split today. We've got 35% saying going out, 35% saying going to sleep, and 30% going home. Maybe, like, maybe you're like me, right? Maybe you're doing a little bit of everything. Maybe you're gonna turn on some TV when you get home and enjoy some other programming and, and relax and unwind. Speaking of TV, have you all, did you see the news that there is, um, you know, a new late night host opening somewhere? Um, and I've been thinking, you know, the late, late show, right? Now that they're probably going to be looking for a host, who do we think would be um, the best replacement host for the late, late show? Hmm? Who should take over? Is it um, Kim K? Elon Musk, or I don't know, um, I don't, I'm not really, really sure that enough people have heard of her, but I do think Sarah Brebus might make a good replacement. Um, you know, she is also the one who's in control of giving away that trivia answer um, on today's show. And, uh, you know, I just think maybe she would make a great replacement late, late show host. But, you know, it's just, that's just me. I, we definitely want you all to weigh in here on who you think should take over the late, late show. But just remember, you know, Sarah Priebus, I mean, she is the one with the money uh, and the trivia and, uh, you know, all these things that I think we come here for. Oh, would you look at that? 53% of you said that Sarah Priebus should take over the late, late show. So who should we call to make this happen? Hmm? Chaz, any connects? I'm all, I'm all for Kim K. Kim K. Kim K has like 8 million shows and opportunities. What about Sarah Priebus? Huh? Should it, it's a pass for Chaz. But not for 56% of you because you know who's in control of the money and the trivia answers over here at display. And for that, you're already smart. You already deserve to win a prize for knowing that, right? I knew my display booze. I knew you were all very, very smart over there, winning the trivia, answering the poll questions correctly. I mean, we say there's no right answers, but really, you know, there is a right answer. All right. Well, we've had some fun. We've gotten to know each other a little bit. We've talked about our weekend plans. So now let's talk a little bit about how to earn money on display. And that is going to be by posting, friends. And I'm going to give you some posting tips in just a little bit as well. But right, to earn, you got to be posting. So the first way that you're going to start to see those monies roll into your bank account is once you're posting, you're going to see on your timeline or feed that every three posts, there's an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display and 50% to the three creators whose posts appear above that ad. So make sure you've got content up so that it's circulating in other people's timelines or feeds. That's literally making you money. The second way is the support me button. This is a little yellow S. It says support me. It's on the bottom right of another creator's post. You tap that, you'll watch an ad. If you watch that ad all the way through, I'm talking about 15 seconds of your time, then that creator gets paid because the advertisers pay to have their ad there and have eyeballs on that ad. Now they've got your eyeballs because you've tapped the support me button and now that creator makes a little extra money. How about that? Make sure you're tapping that support me button and helping other creators get paid. And maybe they'll do it for you. And the third way that you earn money here on display is by inviting your friends. Now, the way to do it is to make sure you're generating your own link. So go to your main menu, tap invite your friends. And once you do that, you'll have three different options. Um, you can select the link, you can invite your contacts, you can use the QR code, doesn't matter. But we do need to be able to trace that person to you. And this is how we can do that. Why it's important is you get 10% off of whatever that person ends up making on display. So you bring somebody over here, they end up making 100 bucks, you make 10 just for bringing them here. No expiration date to them. Tell them to get in here for the trivia. It's starting at 12 p.m. Eastern, right? 20 minutes from now. So tell them to come on in. Make a little extra money before the weekend. Have some fun. Test their knowledge. Get paid to post. Any of those reasons are great reasons. So make sure in our commercial break before trivia, you're texting your friends, you're telling them to download display, tap on in, and join us for some trivia, right? A little trivia before the weekend, a little extra cash doesn't hurt anybody. And then you get to earn a little extra money if they end up making some money here on display. It's really a win-win for everyone. Now, I mentioned that your posting gets you paid. 
So let's dive in a little bit into the posting, okay? Now, can, can I just source the chat for a little bit? What have we all been posting lately? What types of content have we been posting? Have we been posting pictures of our family, our pets, our surroundings outside, maybe some nature, we're going on walks, selfies, our food? What kinds of content have we all been posting lately? Is it just, have we just been posting photos mainly or videos? Are we utilizing all of the different posting features? And if you're like, Sarah, I didn't really know that there were other posting features available. Well, good, you're in the right spot because I'm gonna point out some of them to you. But I'm curious, what have we all been posting? Mark's, Mark Foote says school plants, which I love. Houdat Nation says a couple nature photos, some videos. Whispering Serenity says, oh, wow. Waterfalls, pets, a fractal made from my waterfalls. Whispering Serenity, that sounds really cool. Actually, I feel like you might recognize some content. I, I think I might have shown off some of your content earlier this week, if I'm being completely honest. I noticed, I do notice. Newness Wendy said, nature, um, I love it. Hey, Nim, I love that you're calling me mom. Am I kind of like the group mom? That makes me happy, that's cute. Okay, all right, so. We got where people are posting, which is great because that means you're starting to earn that money. But I do want to point out some other types of posts that you may or may not know about. But let's go over the basics, okay? So for any post, you're going to go to your profile, okay? You got your profile pulled up. That's where you start. And you're going to tap on that plus sign on the bottom of the screen. Once you tap on that, you're going to have access to your camera roll. So here you can choose any photograph that you've already, you know, photographed. Wow, that was really intelligent, Sarah. Um, or you could take a photo on the spot by tapping that camera icon. But let's say you want to choose a photograph that you've already photographed, as you will. We're going to tap on the one that's on the top left here in our camera roll. You see it's selected now with that green check mark, and we're going to tap next. Ooh, uh, where in the world is snow happening? Hopefully not here anymore. But uh, let's, let's enter a caption, which I believe personally is very important. You can show off your wit, you can tell a little story, you can share the location of something, right? Maybe you could even share the temperature if it's freezing like this. For now, we're gonna go with a little bit of humor. We're gonna say, guess I need a jacket. And let's tap on visibility to check out some of those settings and options. Okay, so public means it's available to everybody on the app. Private means it's available to just your followers and your friends. And exclusive is really cool. If you set it to exclusive, that means nobody can view your content until they tap the support me button, which means you're automatically making some money for that content. Yes. So make sure you experiment with that every once in a while. Throw up an exclusive post. Make sure people, you know, have to tap the support me button in order to see that content. And just so you know what that looks like, essentially it's a blurred out version of your photo or your video until someone taps the support me button, they get you paid, and then they can actually access your content. Very cool, right? I, I love it. Okay, so let's go back to our posting options. Now let's say we don't have any photos, we don't have any new photos, but we do wanna send everyone a positive message. We're gonna tap text on the bottom. We're gonna say, happy Friday. We're gonna select it. We're gonna choose a color and we're gonna go with purple. We're gonna go with purple and we can share that uplifting message with everybody. We can say happy Friday because that is the vibe, that is the mood today. I'm feeling happy Friday, are you? Right, I don't think you would go into your, into your post and say sad Friday, I mean you could. In which case, I encourage you to share your feelings. This is a safe space, friends. Okay, let's go back to our final option here. We're gonna tap Dolby Live, which is on the bottom right of this and then once you would tap live there that little live button you would be streaming in real time with your friends and followers which is really cool you could take them on a nature walk you could introduce them to your pets you could show them your creative process let's say you're you know editing a photograph and you want people to see how you're doing that or you're making art you're designing a t-shirt you're in the studio so think of all these creative ways that you could actually go live kind of like we're doing right now that help your followers and friends to see a whole nother side of you right to help them really feel like they're getting to know you so play around with all these different formats. And I wanna ask you now, like of these that we've just talked about, what are you most excited to try? Is anything speaking to you in particular today? Of these things, you know, exclusive posts or going live, are you thinking, yes, I'm gonna try that this weekend? Or maybe you've already been playing around with all these things, I don't know. Is it the editing tools? Which of these things 
are you most excited to try? I'd love to see some more live notifications of people going live. I've mentioned this before here on the show, but the Owl Queen does a really cool live every once in a while. So she goes out and she photographs nature and in particular owls. So she'll find an owl like in nature and you know she's a safe distance from the owl because she respects nature but like you actually get to go on that experience with her of what that looks like which i just think is so incredibly valuable like i don't get to see that here in new york city i'm not going to photograph owls in their habitat but that i get to experience because she's taking us on the live with her you know maybe you're not earning enough money on display and you need to be throwing some of your posts more behind a, a paywall. So then you wanna experiment a little bit more with exclusive posts. It looks like we're pretty even split. 31% editing, 36% exclusive, and 32% Dolby live stream. I love it, great, have some fun. Experiment, make that money on display, connect to your community, please. Speaking of making money, it's almost time for trivia. We got 12 minutes of trivia, we got $500 up for grabs. It's, uh, it's been lucrative this week. People are actually taking home some money. So let's help you get there, right? Let's give away a trivia answer so you're that much closer to winning today's game. So this is the very real question eight from today's game. I'm going to ask it to you, you're going to answer, and then I'm going to reveal that answer. Let's do it. Okay, Polaroid was founded in the same US state as which other brand? Ben & Jerry's, Dunkin' Donuts, Land's End. Okay, so this means you gotta know where at least some of these places were found, right? So where is Polaroid founded? Do we know which state that was? And you're like frantically Googling. Look, Googling doesn't serve you anymore. You know the new format only has 10 seconds. You gotta be quick, so just take a chance. Let's see, let's see if we know this. Okay, so do we know where Ben & Jerry's is? I, that one I would know off the top of my head. I know where Ben & Jerry's is because I am eating that ice cream all the time. Chaz, do you have a favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor? Fish food. I like chubby hubby. Um, it's delicious. It's like a malt ice cream with um, uh, peanut butter filled chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, it's so good. Okay, let's see what we tapped. We've got 56% saying Dunkin' Donuts and 56% of you would be right. Dunkin' Donuts is your answer. Duncan and Polaroid were both founded in Massachusetts. Everywhere else is in the Northeast. Ben and Jerry's is Vermont, but it is Duncan Donuts and Polaroid that were both founded in the same state, which is Massachusetts. If you got that, give yourselves a pat on the back. Shout yourselves out in the chat. Let me know how you got it. Was it a lucky guess? Did you, did you know it? I mean, America runs on Duncan, but did you know what state it was? And if you did, you probably tapped that answer. Um, yes, bravo, AM Steel. Yes, there's a there's Duncan's everywhere, but where was it founded? Where was it founded? I mean, I guess there would be a lot in Boston. There's a lot in New York City, too. Gummy Nugget says, I rolled out Ben & Jerry's because I went to Vermont. Oof, Caramel Sutra is delicious. Out of, out of this world. Um, I would always say half-baked is delicious. A little, um, chocolate chip cookie dough and chocolate fudge brownie. And now this has turned into a Ben & Jerry's ad. I don't know what's happening. To even it out, I will also highly recommend um, Caramel Cone by Hagen dazs <laughs> So if anybody wants to try that flavor, it is delightful. Chaz and I actually have a place that we like to walk to sometimes. <laughs> now that we're on the top of ice cream, I could talk for, about that for forever. Okay. Let's move on to one of my other favorite topics, which is showing off your creative content, right? We, we ask you to post on this app to help you get paid, and some of you are doing that, and I'm inspired. Let's show off some of my favorite posts. Okay, to kick it off, we got this from B. Nelson, which is just incredible. I love art. I mean, art can be so many different things, but like this visual art, the painting, is stunning. He's painting his dog. How cool is that? How good is that? You gotta go check out the original photograph of the dog so you can actually see, but like, I'm impressed. This is not what my painting of a dog looks like, so well done, B. Nelson, that's, in, that's really awesome. Okay, and please, share your art. If you're an artist, share your art. Okay, next up, we got this one from Lumi Photography. 
Look at that gorgeous sunset. I never got sick. This is one thing I truly never got sick of in my feed. I could look at sunset pictures all day. I love how it's framed by the hanging branches of the trees. The water looks stunning. The silhouettes of the trees. I mean, this is just a gorgeous photograph. And a reminder to all of you that like some people on display, they start their own challenges and then they repost people who are participating. The Sacred Trees Challenge is one of those. So if you want to connect and have other people be sharing your content, look out for challenges like that, like the Sacred Trees Challenge. Post accordingly, use the hashtag, tag the original creator, and see if you get reposted. It might be a, a way to reach some new people. All right, let's do one more. This is from Camo Mermaid XOXO. We've got a bird feeder and what looks like a some sort of finch or something hiding and enjoying the little bird treats. I love this because it's simple, right? It's so beautiful. I love the trees and how they're lit with the sunlight, lit with the sunlight. I love the bird feeder. You know, I don't have a backyard like this in New York. Again, it's a reminder that what might seem mundane or normal or simple to you can look really lovely to somebody else who doesn't get to experience that. So post your photos this weekend. Get out there, find some stuff. I don't care if it's a meal, some company, your walk, your pets, put it up on display, make a little extra money. And in the meantime, friends, I'm giving away some extra money. I'm talking 500 bucks. We're giving it away in seven minutes right here on Display TV. I'll see you back then for trivia.
everybody, and welcome to an all new game of display trivia live from New York City. What? You thought we were going to reuse a game and hoped you all didn't notice? Please. We know all of you displays are smarter than that. I mean, like, would you be here if you weren't? Your Honor, I rest my case. Friends, my name is Sarah Priebus, and as your trivia host, I will not rest when it comes to securing the bag for my displays. You all came here to win, not to settle. The only thing you all need to plead guilty of is kicking butt in trivia today. So, here's how it's gonna work. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just keep playing. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. Your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have your profile completed. And now for a quick practice question. Would you rather have your day in court, duke it out on the court, free samples at the food court? Which would you rather? Hmm, I mean, come on. I know there's no right answer here, right? But like, there is clearly a right answer here. And if you all know me, you know that free plus food equals a very happy Sarah. And yeah, 40% of you are with me. Free samples at the food court, baby. I'm, I'm heading there afterwards. I'm, I cannot wait. But for now, it all starts. It's time for display trivia. Don't forget to tap your answers quickly. It moves fast. We've updated trivia. You ready to do this thing? Question one. Muscles on the stomach are commonly called caramel macchiatos, killer bees, abs. Muscles from the ocean are called yummy. But I like a six pack to go with mine. No, not a beer. A six pack of abdominals or abs as we call them in the biz. The bodybuilding biz, that is. 96% of you working out your brains as well as the brawn today. Question two. All of the following are styles of dance except ballet, waltz, taekwondo. No matter what style of dance you decide on, I hope you do it like no one's watching. Ooh, uh, put that on a pillow. Um, but if I dance like no one's watching, I just keep stopping for snack breaks, to be honest. Ballet, jazz, mambo, tango, waltz, take your pick of dance styles. But if you're putting taekwondo moves on somebody, it seems like you need to work out some issues before you pas de deux. 91% of you duking it out. Question three. The Y in DIY stands for yummy yourself yesterday. Man. I was really banking on don't ick yourself. Enough people out there today giving off the ick, you know, the last person that you need it from is yours truly. But DIY is do it yourself. And it can either be a fun way to save money or a tragic way to find out that you have no real world skills. Either way, film it and show us. More fun if you fail, honestly. But no failure with 94% of you. Question four. Chromatica is a 2020 album by whom? Drake, Lady Gaga, Harry Styles. I don't know if anyone here remembers 2020. I mean, I don't, because I blocked it out. But we needed some new music that year. Oh, we did. And who delivered with this album? Lady Gaga, who, if we're being honest, deserves a promotion to Dame at this point, right? Whew. 88% of you were born this way, baby. Question five. This sunglass style was originally designed for military pilots, clubmaster, wayfarer, aviator. Is the dude from that song still wearing his sunglasses that night? No wonder he keeps bumping into stuff. It's a bold move, you know, but not one that pays off. It's just one step below bringing an acoustic guitar to a house party. 
Aviator sunglasses were originally issued by the military for pilots, which is where it gets its name, aviator. And 93% of you are soaring and flying into question six. Bella Hadid recently said she wished she had kept the blank of her ancestors, religion knows name. Ancestors really are so generous, you know? I mean, they, they really leave nothing out. They're even passing down stuff like depression and IBS. Oh, thank you, great, 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 great grandma. Thank you. Model Bella Hadid recently said in an interview with Vogue that she regrets her nose job because she thinks she eventually would have grown into it. The nose knows. And so did 84% of you. Question seven. Calcium carbonate is the active ingredient in which of the following products? Crest White Strips, Vicks VapoRub, Tums. The only product here that uses calcium carbonate is Tums. That stuff is uh, really effective as an antacid, which is what your tummy might need if it's feeling a little sour. Adulting is hard. I pop those things like candy. Mmm, yum. Chalk flavored, delightful. 80% of you getting those butterflies in your tummies. It's okay. It's okay, you got this. We gotta keep moving though. Question eight. Polaroid was founded in the same US state as which other brand? Ben and Jerry's, Dunkin' Donuts, Land's End. It's crazy that you used to be able to take a picture and then immediately see the picture right after. You know, after shaking it for half an hour, making sure it didn't get exposed to direct sunlight. I'm talking about Polaroid, right? I remember that, shake it like a Polaroid picture. And this company was founded in Boston in the 1940s. Now all of these brands are known for being from New England, but although America runs on Duncan, it was founded in Massachusetts. 53% of you got that one. If, if you had tuned into our pre-show, that would have been a sure thing for you. I give away that trivia answer, question eight, every single day, I do. All right, question nine. The sitcom that references a bear in every episode stars which actor? Donald Falson, Joel McHale, Jake Johnson. Mm. Sitcoms are so cheesy, and they always end the same way, with some hacky phrase, a freeze frame, and roll credits. But I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. You know, although I did like low-key have fantasies of being the one girl in a house with three guys, like Jess and New Girl, <sighs> the show where supposedly a bear is referenced in every single episode. Jake Johnson also stars in this show. Uh, and yeah, 45% of you got that. Ooh, kind of savage. And we're almost there. Hang in there a little longer because it's time for the final question. Question 10. All of the following are permissible to eat under kashrut except cheeseburger, lox bagel with cream cheese, grass-fed beef. Now I'll eat under anything, especially under the covers. Spaghetti in bed? Don't mind if I do. Kashrut is the Jewish law that determines what is kosher. And kosher meat should be grass-fed and is not to be mixed with dairy. But fish can be, which is why lox and cream cheese is A-OK, -okay, and a cheeseburger is verboten. Of course, the most important rule is uh, don't play with your food, but how did you play in this game? 43% of you getting that last one, you knew it was cheeseburger. Wah! Winners! That means we have some winners, right? 46 of you. Oh, that is a nice stack of cash. Who wants to do the math for me today? That's almost 50. We divide that, it's like $10 each, right? Is that math correct? Let me know. Yes, good job, Sarah. Woo, we passed middle school math. I love it. And I love that you came, you slayed. You displayed your knowledge and you are getting paid. 
Okay, Chin Chin, shout out that one out of 10. I love it, Justin got a five. Gummy nuggets, see, you're gonna get it. You got a nine out of 10, you're so close, you're gonna get it. Who else? Amy Princess got a four out of 10. Mac Jose got an eight out of 10. Whittle Monkey, oh, I lost you, there we go. Nine out of 10, everyone's shouting their score so fast, I can't keep up. Oh no, Chico 99 FB, Q10 got you. Hugsy got an eight out of 10. What else? Who else? Rami A got a five out of 10. 10 out of 10 to Hefe, and it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Hefe, that's so exciting. China Thug got an eight, bravo. Oh, thank you, you love the freeze frame? Thank you to everybody here making that possible. That was fun, we had fun. We have fun here at Display Trivia, what can I say? Dumabuki got an eight out of 10. Hedgehog Spoon got a nine. Congratulations, everybody. Don't forget, again, I give away the answer to question eight every single weekday, 30 minutes prior to the show. So if you need it, tune in and grab it. Otherwise, rest up, have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you back here Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Goodbye.